know anything. Mm -hmm. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. Alright, what am I supposed to take from this exactly? That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. Okay. So... Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Still don't really understand. Someone was with him. A man. Uh. No. Maybe I'd understand better if I was colorblind. Wasn't wasn't colorblind. A woman. Um. Hmm. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tess has nothing to do with what this. time was this exactly? She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. Ah, I don't know about that. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. Oh my god, this guy. Tessa, I know, wouldn't hurt anyone. My man is parasocialed up. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. I've, like, One Punch Man's pretty much, like, the best example of that, right? Looked like shit, but it, people really resonated with it. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. Now, while probably true, I don't know if, you know, the opinion of weird otakus is that so important. No way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Ah. We, I'll be the judge of that. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side. I mean, look, it could be anyone. I'm reasonably sure it's not Date, just because I think timeline-wise that's impossible. But you never fucking know. If I do, I might find I, she's totally innocent. You know, I would have said the same thing about Kaede, and look how that turned out. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. Around 6.15, I guess. When did he die? Can I look at that conveniently anywhere? Oh, God. Ow. Album photos by finding hidden items. Oh. Okay. Uh, appendix? No. Hmm. Not really what I'm looking for. Oh. Jump to another part of the story. So I could just. This is chapter. So. Oh my god! 
I mean, I did see the branch, but I didn't know it, like, really... ...actually did anything. I just thought there were multiple ways of solving that. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. What did you do? Actually, it might be in the Renju folder, right? Time of death. No, this is like a glossary. This is not what I want. Ah. Uh, well, you know. Wait, flow chart? Oh, is this just jump on the other menu? Okay. How inconvenient. I pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Uh oh. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Did you do it? Come with me. Mm -hmm. Are you a murderer? Did you do a murder? Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. Well, you know... This is how they all get treated, but yes. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. All right. I don't know why you asked if you're sure. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Okay. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. Yeah, I don't really like this idea of using like thermal imaging to tell the difference. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. Thank you for telling me. So it was, this was a pretty big gap in time. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. Oh, true. He didn't die there, did he? You mean... I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. I mean, you know, fair enough. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renji too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Yeah, but we have very little about evidence-wise for that. Renji was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. Yeah. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15pm, you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okiura called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5pm, I think. I got ready, then headed over there. When was the text message sent to the cell phone? I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. I wish, you know, I... It's fine. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party, and he wanted me to MC. I don't like the way that you spelt that. <laughs> the, weirdly offensive to have spelt it like that. He said that it was an important Rather than just capital M, capital C. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. 
I've never done any emceeing before, especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira at 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. That's true, she did state all of that pretty plainly. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. Yeah, that's true. That's true. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... Well, to be fair, if I hadn't murdered the person, I, you know, I wouldn't feel the need to call in and be like, oh, by the way, you know? I'd wait for them to come to me, is my point. So I don't think that's inherently suspicious. If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Because it's like, if you know you didn't do it, would you really feel that inclined to call them up and be like, Oh, by the way, I was with that person before they died, like, by a couple of hours, right? No, you wouldn't. They'd come and talk to you regardless, but you're not exactly going to seek it out, are you? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Oh, you know. Nothing, nothing. Just wondering if you're a murderer. Just wondering if you did a crime. Am I a suspect? Of course. It's not like that. It is, don't lie. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but... How do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? Why? I'm a teenage girl! Irrelevant. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Irrelevant. Oh, she's got a point. No, she doesn't. Like, sure, she's not gonna overpower him, but, like, there's what, she, he was, the dude was drugged, right? We already know that, there was sedatives in his blood, right? Also, like, if you come up from behind somebody and start throttling them out of nowhere, it's surprisingly hard to get that person off of you. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, if they came up from behind him with something, you'd be surprised. It's pretty hard to reach behind you. Like, if you're, like, uh, martial arts, if you get caught in, like, a rear naked choke, that shit's hard to get out of regardless of how, like, strong you are. No, it's still possible, you see. Uh, this is gonna be Renji was drugged. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised yeah. consciousness before Yeah, this is death. true, but like, I don't inherently discount it because of the way he died either. No, oh, no, yes, sure. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? Well, she doesn't look that physically strong. It's all over the news. That's true. So... But, like, what if she hung up all the wires and everything and then, like, used the barrels, like, hooked it in his mouth and then used the barrels to weigh the other ends down 
and Regiment sort of like hoist. Basically, I'm saying, what if she hoisted him up with the kegs rather than like physically lifting Renju up there herself? There's probably a way to do that, right? Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Yeah, this is going to be... Uh... Which one is this going to be? The Wait. autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this was found on- This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed- Okay, not that. Renju's corpse was discovered at the maid cafe Sunfish Pocket, hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Yeah, right, so like... You tied you, this. It's, it's this. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Yeah, here we go. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The yeah. three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Mm -hmm. hmm. I guess that would make it possible. Dude, I'm a fucking genius. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? She rolled him in the barrel. Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? She rolled him in the barrel. Oil drum. I need more to support my theory? The watch. Dude, I'm so fucking smart. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Remember to stay hydrated. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? True. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. That's a weird way to phrase that, but... You just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would so, have noticed! Like, here's the thing. Witness, t witness testimony actually fucking sucks. Like, several countries have considered making it so that witness testimony is not even admissible as evidence because it's so inconsistent. You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Uh, uh, isn't that right, Zach? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, 
then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Um, elevator record. Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the, the elevator stopped on the second at 8.55, the total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 300. I'm not about to do the math, but that's the answer, I'm sure, is all that. Um... Uh, wait, autopsy report? Renju's estimated numerous hemorrhage. The weapon used, the criminal likely What's the third one? Renju then, the more precise cause of death is cerebral circ- In short, Renju was- No, fuck, I accidentally pushed it again. Uh... The oil drum is the type that has a lid you can empty. It weighs a pro- Okay, that also has a weight. Gotcha. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. But it's starting to look bad. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs. Dude, that would be so fucking unreal. Holy shit. If the person thought far enough ahead to fudge the weight records of the elevator... Dude, I would never think to do that. I wouldn't even consider the possibility that that would be kept on record to throw us off the trail. However... Dante, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. Uh... There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Oh. Uh. Oh, she's doing something under the she's desk. She's around. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she is in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Uh... Oh. I'm so smart. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Time to violate some rights. Let's go. Like any good cop would. Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. Eh, yeah, give or take. I know. Then, let's begin. Yeah.
what is this place? Looks like a warehouse. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium scan, activate! Mm-hmm. 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 First the TV, then the window, then my greatest foe, the floor. A mysterious room, videos on a strange device. You may be able to find the truth. All right, what we got around? Just the TV? No, doors also. TV seems the obvious place to start. A CRT TV. Uh, what the fuck is the 2x? Whatever, speed that spin the dial. Hmm. Uh huh. Starting to see maybe a possible motive in there. What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original. Science. Oh, never! I thought that was her mom. I'm stupid. What? What is going on here? Virus, what are you hiding? We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. Well, she can't be the original, though, because she is, like... Oh, hit, was hit the alternative route there? She can't be the original Cyclops killer, though. She's not old enough. A negative, negative timies can multiply time or force you to use them if you pick one up. Be careful. Oh. I guess I got got. So we got T... Uh, torso, gun... Mirror. Hmm. Drum. Oh, hello. Uh, mirror. A full body mirror. Uh, this seems like something where punt breaking the mirror might do Are something. You sure I can break this mirror. No, I don't think you have the strength. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? What? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. What? This, this isn't exactly a perverted thing to do. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Well, that's disappointing. Gun. Five minutes left. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Surely she can't jump up to that. It's pretty high. Torso first. Torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? She's got you there. Um. Hit it. Hit it is shorter, so let's do that. You don't have the muscle mass. You need to do some training. What would be the point of that? I do not have muscles. That's what I just said. I cannot wait for the day I have enough muscle to punch you in the face. It will be so Alright, I also got the 1-5 out of that, so... Time you will not... No, no, I do want to use the timing. And I'm pretty sure that's a net gain. Their guard is up. You have to loosen them up first. What do you mean? But the traditional approach would be to start with a massage. If you are not going to help, should I choke you instead? You should try that on them. They might be into that. Date, please stop. Yeah, that was, that was getting pretty weird. Alright, okay. now let's try. I'm trying to get the barrel down right now. 
because I feel like that you, you can then use that to get the drop, to get the gun. Excellent. Even my consciousness is being affected. While I was unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. But we have no choice but to investigate. Okay. Medicine bottle. Is the gun still there? Yes. Barrel? That's not what I wanted. No, no, not that. Ooh, smell is tempt. Oh, I can't actually interact with the barrel? Disappointing. Operating table, medicine. A drug bottle. Chug is pretty tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Get Chug him. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, unknown. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. With who? An AI labor union? True. I won't drink it. Fine. Disappointing. A drug bottle. Alright. Oh fuck. This isn't going well. Um a drug bottle. We'll just investigate it. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. All right, operating table. An oper <laughs> Perform surgery. <laughs> well, Look, how can you possibly resist a prompt like that? <laughs> Wait, no, why will timing will not be used? <laughs> but I picked one. What do you mean? <laughs> because it's got the 2x on it? That is pretty cringe, but like... I, I, I gotta do it, though. On. Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. I thought it might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps you should have been I, line of thinking. I really had no idea what it could possibly do. I just couldn't resist a prompt that said that. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Dante, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is this place? I thought that would happen, but like, come on. The prompt was performed surgery. How could I refuse? Yeah, every try. Uh, lock two. Uh, maybe I'll go back and do. So I can save a little bit of time. You know, it's getting a little tight. Because now I know to just choke this. A torso. If it has a. What was. Can't skip, huh? That's fine. It's okay. Even my While I was Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now. The door just seems like such a bait. Sleep? Maybe. Timey will not be. Why? Why will the timey not be used? I'm. I want it to use it to set it to thirty. 
I'm not doing the two with the X's on them. Okay. Hold on, then. It's nothing to do with that. Can you get this? A is it real? It appeared? Surely not, right? Weekly Shonen? Don't say it. That was pretty cringe. <laughs> I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Nobody's blaming you. Eh, I might be a little bit. I might be a little bit. Fine. Um, oh, there's a TV over here now. An old tel Turn the dial. Well, that's suggestive. Damn. Jesus Christ. Well, that video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. Yeah, but that's not at all how he killed people, right? It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. I mean, so like the oil drum shelf and another torso have been added. Let's go. Okay. Three minutes, Date. Uh, what can we do with this? Choke it again. Do you think it'll work? Do you think it'll work again? Timey will not be. Why will the timey not be used? Why? Why won't the timey be used? Please? Why? I don't understand. I'm I'm telling you to use this timey. You have bad taste. Just do it, please. Okay. Do you wish to continue? No, we're done with the joking. Hmm? For now. What can we do with the gas? A common ga well, you know, I see. I was under the impression it would use the timey that was highlighted. You have to lock in the timey that you're using. So I'm a fool. Shut. I can If you can't then it is meant to be closed? I think so. Okay. You have less than two minutes, Dante. So shell. Only a shell. Push. That shelf sticking out. It seems odd. Oh, but you can move this. gonna get bonked. No? There was a thing rolling on the top. Oh, here we go. What? What oh. happened? A metal ball must have fallen off the shelf. Why would anyone put that there? Beat it to death. An iron ball. Um throw? Throw it that way. Understood. It is unexpectedly light. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just the dull thud was really funny. That ball hit me in the head. Now a TV and an old book have appeared. I hope this is the last time. All right, I'm, I know now. I'm less foolish than I was in the past. Now we go straight for the TV. Which, where's the TV? Hold on. 
Over there. An old Turn the dial. Like, is this actually how they died? This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Because I gotta be honest with you here, like, these methods of death are all very dramatically different from each other. Why does Iris know that? Like, you know, what, what's going on back there? Sorry, my, my cat had kittens and I can hear them complaining what's going on. Looks good. Like, you know, uh, serial killers, like, don't typically change the way they do things this much, you know? Like, is this actually how they all died? Like, dramatically different reasons? There is a possibility that or causes? Online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killer. Would her imagination explain that? Hey, people have imagined some fucked up things. Date. We have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Well, it says shoot it to death, but now that means we have to actually figure out how to get this goddamn gun. Locker. Just a locker. Listen? No. Open it. Whoa. Oh. Iba? It's alright. More importantly. Uh. Oh fuck, here we go. I'm in awe. That was mind boggling. <laughs> I never would have guessed opening a log locker would have such gigantic ramifications. That was insane. At the end of it all, it shot the mirror. It didn't even shoot like an actual mannequin. It shot the mirror that had the mannequin in it. That was incredible. I'm glad we all got to experience that together. What happened in that somnia? Excellent question. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops like, serial killers. But here's the thing, right? Is that it was people with the faces taped to them. Does that mean the same thing as it was them? This seems ambiguous to me. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago. Like, it wasn't, like, actually them, though, was it? 
you know, like... Wouldn't they just be the people, not a mannequin with the face attached to them? Are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium? No. That means the person who killed them was... Mm-hmm. So... Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell Just you Just tell me that Date did it, okay? Just do it. Just tell me that. Like, you're gonna have to do it eventually, and we all know it. You might as well just come clean now. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops... Can you at least kill me? tell me if that's how they all died? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer? Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw your face. Yes. The original Cyclops killer was... Mm-hmm. It can't be. That's impossible. I, you know, like, I've been thinking this for a while now, but I was expecting it to be something that it might tell me at the end of the game, not start just alluding to it now. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. Coincidentally. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Mm. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? Well... You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Come on. So, the manifestation was of a completely different killer? She was like, oh god, Date's so scary. What if he was the original Cyclops killer? Seems a bit of a leap. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Hmm. Really? Really. Hmm. Right. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. I don't know if that's true. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Like, she doesn't need to have been present for the murders to dream about them, though. Hmm. Like, Obviously, that's going to be the case, because that's how stories work, but... I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Come on, dog. How long are we all going to pretend that that's the case? Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. <sighs> Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. While I agree, come on. There's obviously going to end up being a connection. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Dude, I love how everyone's source is just, bro, trust me. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. That was a pretty grand question to ask. <laughs> hey, Pewter, do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. Tough question. Looks like it might have been Dr. Manhattan. Remember what the boss said this morning. 
The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. Depressingly common story for murderers. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnia they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. Mine are just nonsense. They're just when using the sync machine for like, investigation. We don't always see the memories we expect to see. It, my dreams very rarely make any kind of actual sense at all. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. Pretty dystopian, but yeah. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. That's true. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that Dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, Fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Okay. Are all memory... No. Obviously not. It's, you can very definitely have false memories. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. Mm, I suppose that's generally true. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. Mm, I'm not sure that's always true. What about things you see in movies or television? Yeah. The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Hmm. I... Well, that was a real nerd answer, I'm not gonna lie to you. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Mm. I don't think that's really true either. The... Well, more I should say, it's not impossible. It's just very few people are capable of doing it. I didn't learn anything from speaking with Boss and Pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Pewter shook me from my thoughts. It. it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I headed to the sink room. To be honest, the font they chose for Date's thoughts kind of upsets me. <laughs> hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Dante. Didn't we already do this once before? The subject of a sink does not experience somnium in the way that you didn't, do. Didn't we already have this talk? They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memory. Yeah, okay, this was two seconds ago. You can't dream of something you know nothing. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in some, what? we couldn't find anything. How can that possibly be true? The law demands that we release her. I feel like we have reasonable suspicion to hold her for a little while. You cannot decline, Date. Obviously not. But I yeah, look, I think we ha I think we should be able to get enough evidence to hold her. 
So to be fair, I don't think she actually did it. Even though she's the most suspicious right now, I don't I don't think she actually did it. I think she might have been there. She might be involved somehow, but I don't think she did it. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Yeah. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her too. All right, sure. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. God, not even letting me click on it from the menu. God, railroaded. 